Welcome back to your Java Programming Tutorial 27, baby. This one, we're going to be talking about how to nest things inside of code blocks. So this is going to be useful if you need an if statement inside of an if statement, or a loop inside of a loop, or an if statement inside of a loop, or, you know, whatever kind of nesting you want. There's all kinds of creativity allowed here. So what we're going to do is we're going to first show you an if statement inside of this for loop. Pramp is a free mock interview platform where you can develop your technical interviewing skills. Practice coding with live execution of all major programming languages to solve real interview questions. Interview types include data structures and algorithms, product management, behavioral interviews, system design, front end, and data science. I've personally used this service to successfully crash course for a software engineering interview. Lots of people are having success getting positions at companies like Amazon, Google, Twitter, and more. Check it out, I'll leave a link for you guys in the description. This is kind of like the foundation for some of the more advanced stuff we're going to get into, such as traversing through 2D arrays and so forth. So make sure you pay attention, don't be a noob, keep your eyes focused and just listen to what I have to say here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say if, and we can compare this I to some value to see if it's like a certain one if we're looking for something. So we can say if I is equal to five and we can do something special if that's the case oh also that that shortcut i just did sys out i'm on a mac i don't know if it's any different on windows i mean it's something similar we can just look it up if you want so just control and space on the mac so i is available to us because we're still within these curly braces here if we tried to access i outside of these curly braces that's not going to work so i is scoped to these curly braces. All right, so let's say we find five. We're just gonna do something special. We're just gonna say we found five. Very special, I know. Run this, and look at that. Once we hit five, it says we found five. We can also nest if statements inside of if statements. So for example, we could say inside of here, we can go up here and put another if statement. And what we're gonna do is we're going to put this print line inside of that if statement, like so. And what condition are we gonna look for? Let's say if additional logging is true. So what is additional logging? <laughs> it's just something I made up in my head like two seconds ago. But pretty much what we're gonna do is we're going to set that to true up here. So we'll say additional logging and we'll give it the value true. And what type is this gonna be? It's going to be type bool for boolean. Uh, Boolean. There we go. All right. So why am I doing this exactly? Well, I'll show you guys. See, when we run this, we get this additional information and we could sprinkle that throughout our code. But then what we can do is we can go in here and we could set this to false. And then that's going to get rid of that additional logging and it's going to change it throughout our entire program. Sweet. So those are some simple examples. That's all I got for this video. In the next video, what are we going to be doing? We're going to be talking about for statements within for statements. This is a cool way to iterate through things as well as create some cool pyramid shape printing things. Like some people are just interested in that. <laughs> I'm not really sure why, but check it out. It's going to be cool. It'll be fun. You'll probably learn the most you've ever learned in your entire life. So go check that video out and I'll see you then.